Hey, hey guys, welcome to Instinctual Tarot. I am Dre Eden, and I'm here to give you guys a quick message. Now, you know, all these messages may not resonate, but we take what does and we leave the rest. And if you find any messages today, I hope they reach you in the best mind, body, and spirit. But, um, yeah, I was, I didn't pull any cards or anything. Something just called me to the table, and I was like, let me just, you know, see what comes up in their energy. But I was getting a feeling of a grasp or a pull towards something that um, the collective could have left or something that you guys could, ha um, could have switched your emotions for. Like you, you checked out <laughs> on certain situations and things. And I can really much feel this type of energy because sometimes, you know, letting go is never easy. It's never... Um, um, it's always a transition point within that, right? So we're just going to see where this goes. I'm going to start with the regular rider weight real quick and see what... Ooh, there we go. The lovers. <laughs> the lovers. <laughs> oh, God, I can't... So this has to do with certain loves and accomplishments. It's like, okay, you know somebody loves you, but maybe they mishandled you, right? Um, maybe this energy mishandled the way that you, uh, it's like knowing somebody and them knowing you and then they mishandled you and now they need you back in their life, right? <laughs> so maybe you guys love this person. Maybe it's the love of the things you do. Maybe it's the quality of the situations that you're in and how you're moving forward in those maybe you got a grasp or a pull towards a project or a situation a job um this can also be in your own personal growth of where you guys want to go and finding um finding your own personal path what you want to do for work that brings you money that's very personal And it's also, when I said the fumbling, <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So, okay, basically I'm getting here. Um, you guys either recently just left the situation, no matter work, place, um, a, a lover, third parties, my car makes out there. Something in love is not going right and manifestations are not sticking. That's what I see with this. Certain manifestations not going on. Definitely got to do with money with the Seven of Pentacles that just came up. So, um, you guys walking away from a situation, not giving it your energy anymore, not being stable and called into those things that used to, you know, used to want your energy. You're not giving out to that anymore. And by you doing this, by you walking away, staying firm in your convictions, um, this is coming up in somebody else's uh, I cannot make it up. I cannot make it up. The Eight of Cups <laughs> walking away. So, yeah, this energy is feeling as if they lost. They, they lost um, something of some value that they could have had. They seen that your energy... Um, the love that you used to give uh, provided a fortune for them within their life. Whether Remember, everything doesn't have to do with money. It could just be the mental thought. You giving them the mental space and power to see things through for what they truly are. And by you walking away and serving up, let's see what comes up. Yeah, you don't want it anymore. You're not really feeling the energy of what it used to be. You're seeing things from a more better moving forward. King of Cups being emotionally fulfilled. And you're very much emotionally fulfilled in this situation. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you moved on to be happy without this energy. I see. Come on, collective. And judgment has happened. So basically, if you could see the medical sign within the judgment, because the judgment is a certain part of healing 
So either you guys are healing yourself or this energy is feeling as if they lost a situation. But this is their judgment. Them not being able to feel a certain type of way. Them not to be able to move a certain type of way. This judgment can go both ways for the good and the bad. Place the energies where you put them. Queen of Pentacles. You being standing firm in what you're doing and going forward. And that card also says that you're moving forward in a better light. That of a foundational moment, right? Let's see where you going collective spirit what's next for our good old collective walking away and taking everything with you soars your mind so basically it's telling me that by you taking soars is always that mental thought right so you taking away your mental thought is what gave this energy this um this will of fortune in reverse they're not able to even fucking think straight at the end of the day <laughs> love it and by you having strength and overcoming um whatever this love because it's like i said before guys it's very hard it is very hard to stop loving or um not continue to love something that is not giving you what you need but if you're not being fulfilled if your needs are not getting met right then you do have to walk away you do have to you know choose yourself in all these all these options and all these situations and um yeah for the other party it may hurt it may not be exactly what you want it may not be exactly um what they want you know for whoever this lover is that was in your life yeah they're feeling down and out not realizing what they had until it's gone and what they did have emotionally is not fulfilling <laughs> and they're just stuck hanging around looking around wanting you guys to come back wanting you to enlighten them on certain situations and certain things but you're not even giving your energy to that anymore yeah it was a give and take between you two it was a give and take between you and this job it was a give and take between you and your family but no longer have you put that at the forefront of what you need to going on you have other things going on in your life that your cup is running over and and you feel very adamant about how you feel within this energy how do they feel juggled and mishandled with the two of <laughs> The two of, I can't, with the two of pinnacles in reverse, they feel juggled, they feel mishandled as if, you know, yeah, this is not really a good energy. It's very low. Um, this is not being able to have a fundamental conversation. This is uh, have fun, foundational standards feel off in their foundation, I could say the tower card they're going through a dark night of the soul right now and that's really not your problem but um if you still would have um been in this person's energy with the walking of eight of eight of cups and the tower card that's basically saying that um yeah they're going through by you walking away you set off a fucking fire collective you you made them realize and look at where and what they are missing within their lives i love it that you're coming up as the empress in this reading right so you're very understanding of how you are treating um these energies that you know mishandles you as you should and you're working diligently on the things in your life to make sure that you have you know the passion the understanding and also going through a healing process on your uh, on your own i love it the emperor energy oh you guys you guys are really showing your ass too within this hence the gold on the crown it's like you understand your value you understand where you're coming from at this let's see what they're gonna try next guys <laughs> sleepless motherfucking nights now for you know some this could be you um just entering this feeling right just entering this feeling because you know maybe it does hurt you not to you know talk or it does hurt you not to get a phone call or it does hurt you not to get that text right 
but let's see where you're going with it with the queen of wands you understand that you have to stay firm and um stay true to your own convictions right the queen doesn't second guess you know how she should feel where they're going chariot moving on so this energy feels it's tough to move on it's hard to move on some of these guys were taking from you in a way that wasn't too good it wasn't for the benefit of you guys relationship it was more for the benefit for their sales but when you walked away when i tell you towers lions tigers and bears <laughs> going through it not being able to make a decision not being able to stay firm in their own you know situations and like i said before that has nothing to do with you guys i'm gonna pull from the evil eye deck to see if they got any ill will intentions for you guys or is it all love is it all love free spell someone wants to stop any progress on your way to success so yes you walking away and hence the chances um they needed you guys they actually needed you to be there they needed your your energy they needed your time they needed your respect and when you took that away where where that's how it, when you took that away it ultimately did this everything fell to hell you know and that's really not your problem. Let me see one more for a whole bunch of you guys. So I'm gonna pick one more evil eye deck card. Let's see, spirit, give me a clear. Oh, well, one is sticking up off my charm, so I'm gonna take that. Let's see what we got. Sea salt power. Use the cleansing and retroactive powers of the sea salt to remove negative energies from your body and home hence the water so you guys in this healing process of you um just moving your own way now seeing your own path very clearly you want to do sea salt baths of course any type of sea salt is fine i prefer pink sea salt because i think it gives you an aura like no other but you can use regular salt if you just got morton's salt <laughs> because you know the salt purifies the water which is also purifying you i'm a pull one energy card for you guys before i wrap this up <laughs> balance so if you guys are not balanced right now you will be you are seeing where you have to fix certain things to um to counter line to underline to be the line in your life and you're moving gradually hence the green towards that situation i am dre eden this was instinctual tarot or official and i will see you guys in the next video blessings